Oh my god, I'm first! Okay, so I asked to have an introduction about my pamphlet because I thought I would read my pamphlet. Uh, but then I got it out and I thought I'm kind of tired of it because <laughs> I've been thinking about nothing else for about six months. So I also wrote a new poem in honour of National Poetry Day and I'm going to read that. Woo! And it's called I Want to Be a Famous Poet Because. Who else here wants to be a famous poet? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I hope it happens for you. Great job. Uh, but have you thought about whatever happens to people when they become famous poets and what happens to poems? Because I did, and this is what that poem's about. It's very serious. I want to be a famous poet because I want my poems to be on fridge magnets. I want them printed in birthday cards from Margate to Middlesex. I want my iams to be inked as ill-advised tattoos, and I want them to be used as filler by inspirational TED talkers on YouTube. And I want to write a poem that's used in an advert for carrots or new cards or maybe home insurance. I want to write a poem with such perseverance more than 10% of people know its name. <laughs> and I want to be a famous poet because I want children to hate memorising me. And, and teachers to be so bored of teaching me they'll get the kids to make mosaics of my face out of fusilli just to lighten things up. <laughs> I want to be in textbooks and tests and quizzes and difficult exams. I want school kids to make rainbow spider diagrams or whatever it was I meant when I said whatever I said to be a famous poet on the <laughs> And then I want the undergrads to make scribbled notes about the importance of goats or boats or tropes in my hemiotic use of antisyllogopes. <laughs> and of course I want to be quoted by undereducated and overrepresented politicians while they make boring speeches in the commons 300 years after we're all gone and I've become a bit more niche. I like to think I'll make them look a bit more cultured in front of Jacob Rees-Mogg's great-great-grandson. Won't that be nice? I want my happy poems to be read at weddings, where there is stale fruitcake and the families hate each other. And I want my sad fruit poems to be read at funerals, where there is stale fruitcake and the families hate each other. Wow. My poems will add a lot to these occasions. In fact, they might be standard set suggestions. But most of all, most of all, most of all, I want to be called to that highest poetic honour of all. I want to be Poet Laureate. The first, I mean the second ever female Poet Laureate. Fuck you, Caroline Duffy. Taking that one from me. <laughs> For as Poet Laureate, I'll be free to only write poems that make nobody angry, poems that make people forget as soon as they turn on the TV, poems that don't say things like fuck the Tories. <laughs> yes, I don't want to remain anonymous. I want my name to be famous. Apart from the canon, I think it needs more women. But I want to join the canon so that in 200 years from now, kids will be reading the same old poem I am reading out today because Einstein said that genius is measured by how long it holds up progress. So I want to hold up everything and make it all about me, <laughs> but as long as poetically possible, just like Homer and Shakespeare and Byron and Wordsworth and Shelley. <laughs>